Howdy chummers, it's me Kriegy here with you today to play a game called The Great Escape. Now this is a game that has a lot of sentimental value for me, because my nickname Kriegy ultimately derives from The Great Escape itself and World War II. Because Kriegy is a slang term for German POW. It was it was used by the American and British prisoners of war during World War II to describe themselves, because the German word for prisoner of war was Kriegsgefangenen. And I'm going to put that up on the screen and in the description so you can kind of see that word and kind of get a grasp of what it means. And they're usually, they're usually cunning, they're usually decisive, they're usually, you know, crafty and sneaky, and they just have, you know, they just can maneuver their way in and out of situations as they need to. Now, this game is based on the true story that took place tonight, March 24th, 1944, the largest mass escape from a prisoner of war camp took place. And... The story behind it is the Germans took a bunch of problem prisoners, put them in the same camp, and then decided to, you know, those prisoners, all being, you know, masterminds of escape and cunning and, you know, guile, dug a tunnel out of their camp and then scattered all over, you know, all over occupied territory, causing the Germans to have to go look for them. And, you know, the outcome is, you know, it, it's overall, I would say, a, you know, a good story, but there were people who, you know, lost their lives because of this, you know. There were, there were 50 people who were shot by the Germans because the Germans, you know, Hitler told, you know, his commanders to kill more than half of the escaped prisoners. And that's what they did. Now, I suggest you check out the book by the same name, The Great Escape. Check out that book. You know, do some research on the event, and I think you'll be, I think you'll be, you know, surprised at what you find. And without, without further ado, let's jump into this game. Now I understand, you know, it's an old game. It's been, you know, it's an old game. It was made in 2003. That's why the graphics aren't, you know, what they are. But because this game has so much sentimental value for me, I kept it throughout the years. Because, you know, it's just the one thing that always got me thought. Because I have relatives who were in World War II, and I have one who was a POW. And, you know, I was given the nickname Kriegy, you know, by that person who you know, was a Kriegy himself, which is why I have that nickname, and I keep it, and I bear it, and I hold it. So, without further ado, let's jump into this game. Now, Now, this game starts out, you know, the way most, the way most Kriegies, I would say, got the start, and that was they were a part of an air crew, whether it be the captain, the gunner, you know, the, uh, the engineer, doesn't matter. It, back then, if you were on a bomber and you were captured, they usually took you to, you know, the same camp. So we need 
We need to grab the fire extinguisher. Use an item. Now, oh, I don't think I got to it in time. Nope, I didn't get to it in time. You know, that's the thing about this game is it actually has, um, it has timers and stuff in it. So you actually have to, you know, you actually have to keep up with it. And it's, it's easy for me to lose track of that time when I'm doing a, you know, doing one of these videos. Because, you know, there's just so much to look at, and it's been, it's been, it's been years since I've picked this game up, so, so it's, it's kind of, you know, a trip down memory lane for me as well, so that's why it's, you know, there's times where I might not say anything, and it's just because I'm remembering it, or just remembering, you know, the history of it, because relative you know, was a creepy himself, I actually did a lot of research on it. And I admit, sometimes I became a bit obsessed with it when I was a little girl. And it was just one of those things that, you know, kind of hit me in the stomach when I was reading it. And just, I remember when I was a when I was a little girl, this level was always the hardest for me. This level was always the most difficult for me. But now that I play games, you know, once, twice, three times a week, depending on how many times I make a video, it's gotten a lot easier for me. Which, I remember that fondly. I always used to get mad at this part. Be like, I can't beat the game. But, now, now we're going to have to, we're going to have to burn the code book because all of these aircraft had code books so they could communicate you know, discreetly and without interference or without being overheard. Now, that being said, anytime one of these has to go down, you know, the aircraft had to, um, you know, you, you had to, you had to burn it. And, if there are times where I'm not saying anything, or, or I might even be just repeating myself, it's because I'm reliving this game myself, and all the memories are coming back, so it's... Are you the life over? And I'm also trying to get it so that way the, the cutscenes, you know, you can actually maybe hear what they have, because the game doesn't have subtitles, so I can't throw them on there and have it come on at the bottom of the screen. to do like Luft 10, Herr MacDonald. The rules here are simple. It is forbidden to be outside your hut during the night. Violation of this rule will result in your suppression and arrest. Carrying a weapon, attacking a guard, or stepping into the warning wire is both forbidden and fatal. Violation will result in you being shot. The senior British officer here is Group Captain John Rose. Violations of camp protocol will result in you being shot. That is all. Now, now with this, with this here, you have to go to the senior British officer. Now, the senior British officer Hello, is just that. It's the, you know, it's the basically the. Allied liaison between you, the Kriegi, and you know your German captors. So all protocols and procedures 
go through them. The needle indicates where your next objective is. Use it to locate and speak to the camp's big X. Sometimes, not always, and I'd, I'd hardly say ever. The senior British officer was always kept kept apart from the um, kept apart from escape activities to kind of to kind of help keep their cover intact, and. Because of that, there was always a system of relays. Moving stealthily is a good idea. I want to keep out of... I don't think there's a guard tower that sweeps over here. Oh, there is one that sweeps over here, though. So I have to be careful. And that's the other thing, is this is a... This is a you know, it's like a stealth game, kind of a stealth adventure game. So you actually have to think about what you're going to do, which is one of the things that I loved about this game when I was younger. It's one of the few games that would actually make you, you know, make you think and just, you know, you get to explore and, you know, explore history and kind of just, you know, Kind of just get a little bit of a taste for it. So you just kind of. I'm Jimmy James, the camp forger. In order to escape, you'll need a German pass. Now I can make you one, but I'll so need a sample. So now he's telling us that need we need to go get a German here. pass to, so he can forge it. Because he's the forger. He sits there and, you know, in these camps, if you were, you know, if you were an artist or you could draw or you could. You, you know, you could paint. They took you on as a forger. And if you had other skills, they take you on for other, you know, other entities of the, you know, of the escape organization, which was called the X organization. And controls are very wonky in this game because it's, it's an older game. It's not... It's not always the best. Oh, there's a guard that... Oh, there's a guard. Yep. There's a guard. That guard is called a ferret. Because their job was to ferret out the sea. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm not doing anything. Nope, I missed my chance. What are you doing? No, don't, don't, don't. I'm in my hut. Nope, nope. I've been captured. He got me. Oh, wow. Those goons were quick. So, they have, they have, um, they have different, you know, there were different nicknames for the camp people or the enemies, as we would call it in the game world. So, the ferret guy, the one with the uniform and the peaked cap and, you know, the, the luger, he's a ferret because his job is to kind of go around and ferret out escape attempts and see what's going on. And the soldiers behind me, the just basic infantry, they were called goons because that, you know, it was a play on words, basically, because to get away with calling the goons goons openly, they actually said it was an acronym for German officer or non-com, which was just a bogus thing, but it, it let them get away with it. But they really called them goons because they were usually dumber than a box of rocks. I want to go in here, talk Next to you again. Well, you found him. I'm George Alexander, the big X here in Dulag Luft. George Alexander, the big X. Yes, I am. What do we need to do? First, we need to get you a pass. Jimmy here will help you. Thanks very much. So, hello, Mac. 
I'm Jimmy James, the Jimmy Japanese James, the forger. To escape, you'll need a German pass. Now I can make you one, but I'll need a sample from the goons. I need to check the size of the eagle insignia. So he needs he needs a pass from the Germans. I'll see what I can do. Which which we will go get. Now these are some of the some of the barracks. Now, if I can draw him in here, I can actually kill him. What are you doing? Now, I just don't. Oh, okay, yeah, it's click. All right, so I can actually take out the guards, which, which is not something that they usually did, you know for fear of, you know, reprisal and punishment. But in this game, you can. And I find that when you do that, there's a spotlight out there. Oh. Uh-oh. He got me. Looks like uh, they, they found him. Thought I got away with that. I guess not. So now we need to go get that pass from, from these guys. So what we need to do is figure out where that guard went. Oh, he's over there. He's coming over here. I wonder if he's going to say anything. Yeah, he's going to come over here. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything, you ferret. Leave me alone. But I am going to take you away. Probably not. Okay, the spotlight's coming over this way, so we're going to let it pass. We are going to have to be very stealthy about this. I think there's only one patrolling guard. So we're going to want to... I don't want to be stealthy about this. Supposedly... Supposedly the guard is sleeping. We're going to grab the pass. And we're going to sneak our little creaky bottom out of here. Now we're just gonna make a break for it. Alright, now that thing is coming over this way, so let's get in here. And then we're gonna run over there. Drop the pass off with our forger buddy. Let's see that pass. And there we go. And I remember I used to have so much trouble with this part of the game. Like I could it would take me days to figure out how to how to do this and, and now I now I just do it it's just done it's a easy objective oh but now I've got to take the pass back see that's the thing is you have to put it back because if they notice it's missing where are, my, where are they they're not searching for me all right so let's get this pass Let's get this pass back to back to the rightful owners of it, I guess. And put the pass back. And these guys are not observant.
These guys are not the most observant. Alright, I think we are in the clear. Because now we can go back. Keep at it, Mac. Keep at it, Mac. Oh, I need a map? Where am I gonna get a map? I'm Piotr Krutokin, the tunneler. I need your help. Are you the one with the map? The goons were clearing snow by the second gate. Try looking there. I'll be down in the tunnel when you return. Try looking where? Talk to the senior British officer. Oh, I need to speak to the SBO again? Guess I should. No, nope, you're the big X. I don't want to go over there. And I'd much rather go around the backside because there's less of a chance of me getting a goon up my backside doing this. So we're just gonna come in here. Hello, I'm John Rose. Oh, I think I skipped the objectives. Oh, get a shovel. So there's a shovel right in front of the guard tower over there. So I have to be very, very careful. We get the heck out of here. All right, so who do we? Okay, so we take the shovel we stole from the fence line. Did, did I not grab the shovel? Oh, talk to the tunneler. So he is going to be under this crate. So he's in the floor. Now, obviously, because this is a video game that's based on a movie that's based on a real event, a lot of the stuff in here is not really, I guess, accurate as to how it is. Take this key that I stole from the goons last week. Okay. Someone's coming. Oh, okay, so now I need to hurry. I've got to push the box back over the thing. Is going to be searched. You will cooperate. Everybody okay. must remain where they are. Okay. Not moving a muscle. My hands are not moving. You can search the hut all you want, Mr. Ferret. There is nothing. Nothing. Nothing here. No nothing is here at all. Yeah, you go around me. <laughs> See? Not a darn thing. There's not a drecking thing in here for you. Please. Oh. There's a lot of you. Oh, they're all going back inside their little hut. They put another ferret on patrol? No? Oh, okay. I think they're all gone now.
All right, so there's... Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the tracks. All right, so we got wood from... They called it the Vorlogger. And you bring the wood down to him, kind of just does his little old thing here. I'll soon have the tunnel ready. Make sure you get the forged pass from Jimmy. So I need a forged pass. Now, there are many levels to this game, but I'm not... I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to go through most likely just these two, just to kind of, you know, commemorate it. And I have the pass. So now I think I'm ready to make... No, how do I, how do I do this? How do I, how, how do I go prone? No? I do not remember how to, oh! This is the crouch. No, how do I go prone though? What did I hit to get that? I don't remember what I hit to get that. I'm gonna save my game real quick. So we're gonna... No... Um, key assignment. Space. Oh, there we go. Okay. I figured it out. We are... We are now outside of the wire. Okay. You got me. Nick Sheeson, Poston Nick Sheeson. So, I was captured, and now they're going to send me to another camp. But, I think I'm going to end this one here today, because... I got across what I wanted to do, and that was just commemorate the Great Escape of 1944. You know, out of out of you know out of Stalag Left Three. So because of that, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe to the page, leave a comment. You know. Leave a comment if you have anything, you know, that you want to say or, you know, any questions about this or any recommendations. Alrighty, Tremors, Kriggies out of here.